All right, so I'm out here on this open flat right now. I've got cut mullet, fresh cut mullet on a five out circle hook, 30 pound leader, 20 pound braid. And there are schools of reds scattered out here. I've been throwing artificial, but these fish are very skittish. So we're gonna switch it up with some cut mullet here. They're tailing right there. Switch it up with this cut mullet and see if we can get them to strike. Tailing right there. I'm gonna try to make a cast past them and bring it slowly up to where they're at and just let it sit. And that was right on their noses. I think he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Yep. Yep, he's got it. There he is. There he is. Got him. Nice fish. All right, so we are using fresh mullet, fresh dead mullet. For these reds, I'm cutting it in about two to three inch chunks. Cutting it like so. Very simple. When you're sight casting to these fish, you don't really have to rig it any specific way. I am free lining it, 30 pound leader, 20 pound braid, and a five aught circle hook. And when you rig this up on a hook, make sure when you pull the hook through, notice those scales on there on the tip, make sure you get those off. And that's all you need. And when you cast to these fish, make sure you cast far enough in front of them that you don't scare them with a the big splash from the mullet. A couple fish right over here that are on the move. They're swimming above the grass. And their tails just come right up out of the surface. All right, so I got a pretty good idea of which way they're swimming. They're swimming same direction I'm heading. I'm gonna get a cast out in front of them. Like so. I was about 20 feet out in front of them. So. so the important things to remember when you're sight casting to redfish with cut bait is number one, make sure you lead the fish with your cast. You know, get a good idea of which direction those fish are heading and then cast at least 10 to 15 feet in front of them that will do two things. Number one, it's not going to spook the fish because if you cast too close to them, you will spook the fish with a large piece of mullet crashing into the water. And then number two, it gives those fish a chance to pick up on the scent. If you cast too close to those fish, they're really not gonna pick up on the scent. They're gonna spook away immediately. If you cast far enough in front of them, that gives them time to get closer to the bait and pick up on that scent. And then lastly, make sure you don't use any extra weight when you're sight fishing these fish with cut mullet. Because number one, if you add extra weight, it's going to create a larger splash when it hits the water. The mullet itself is heavy enough to cast effectively. And then number two, if you're fishing, you know, very thick grass like this, if you add extra weight when the mullet sinks, it's going to basically bury itself into the grass, making it harder for those fish to find. So all you need is just leader, and a circle hook and then rig that mullet up on the circle hook free lined. And also if you do happen to need any circle hooks or leader or any tackle or anything like that, head over to fishstrong.com. We have plenty of tackle to get you geared up to start catching more fish. And if you're one of our insider members, keep in mind that you do get an exclusive discount on all tackle and gear on the shop page. So definitely be sure to take advantage of that at fishstrong.com. Now, if you're wondering, I'm out here actually filming an insider report for our insider members and that's where we go out pretty much every week. We show exactly where we're going based on the trends and the patterns and the conditions and the time of year. That way our insider members can use that knowledge to plan their trips to go out and start catching more fish in less time. So if you're interested in that, head over to saltstrong.com forward slash pricing, check out the insider club to see if you are a fit but for now gonna go ahead and keep fishing out here see if we can get on some more fish and 
the results of the trip will be available for our insider members so be sure to check that out if you are one of our insider members if you have any questions or comments please feel free to drop them down below